This is the battery backup power 10 kVA single phase UPS. Uh, the input can be anywhere between 208 and 240 volts. Uh, we have 240 going in for testing now. Uh, we've attached the custom PDU uh, and that uses a NEMA 6-50 plug. Goes to a pre-configured PDU, uh, individually protected by circuit breakers. And we're going to go ahead and measure the voltage. On the bottom row, it's going to be 240 volts. So, got that in there. We got 238.9. And on the top row, it's going to be 128 volts, or 120 volts, I'm sorry. So there's 119.3 volts. So that 119.3, we'll go ahead and unplug. Do the unplug test. You got the voltage failure alarm. And we still have 119.4 volts on the top row. And 239, 238.9 volts on the bottom row. Go ahead and simulate utility power being restored. Detected that the power has been restored and reverted back to normal mode. This PDU allows you to plug in either standard plugs, uh, it's hard to see here, but uh, NEMA 5 15, so standard double hash plugs, or the special 20 amp plugs that are 120 volts, uh, and you can kind of see that here in the T. The bottom row, oh, and the top row also has a NEMA. L5-30R for your 30 amp 120 volt devices. <coughs> the bottom row has an L6-15, an L6-20, an L6-30, so that means you can get a 208 to 240 volt 15 amp, 20 amp, or 30 amp twist lock uh, plug. Plug them into here, and the, these, if you, if you can tell, they're different than these. And what these are is the second side. See how it's different? Designates these as 6-15 or 6-20, uh, 208 to 240 volt straight blade connectors. They look almost identical to the top row, which is 120 volt, except the right side, instead of going up and down, goes side to side. And that's why these are 208 to 240 volts. On our system, almost everything takes 240 volts, so we've default programmed this system as 120 volts and 240 volts output uh, to cover all of our bases. Uh, if we need to, we can move one peg over in the back of the UPS and get 115 and 230 volts out simultaneously, uh, or we can get 208 volts out. And here we have, uh, we've got double oranges. So double oranges, if you can see here, is there is correct wiring. No grounding issues, no voltage issues, no issues whatsoever. Everything is uh, wired correctly.